Okay, we have Eddie. This is Eddie. Eddie's a pass, basset hound. Then we have a chihuahua named Zelda. Got it. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, well, we, a good we boy. We did hear a little pop. Little... Uh, superior Atlas and Inferior Atlas. There we go. All right, this is what the husband says now. You guys should swap adjustments. Yes, I if think you're so. not getting him regularly, she's amazing. and she's not getting him regularly. Oh. oh, wow, that was so good. I'm really excited because I have Dr. Lila here and we were at chiropractic school at the same time, although I was a few grades ahead of you, so yes. we didn't know each other. Yes. But we just figured out we were we were on campus at the same time. And you specialize in a lot of well tell tell people in case they want to find you. I do prenatal, postnatal, Webster breach technique, pediatric, baby adjusting. I'm in financial for 20 years. Financial downtown, 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 downtown. Well, like downtown. 160 Broadway, 10th floor. Yeah, 160 Broadway, 10th floor. Yeah, 160 Broadway, 10th floor. yeah, so she's amazing, and um, if you need any of that work, she's the one to call. And, um, Dr. And then, Lila Wolf? And then Johan is I'm, here. I'm the husband. Okay, you're the husband, yeah. but you're not a chiropractor. No, nope, I am a author and archivist. But a what? So I, I'm an author and archivist, oh, but I you. drank the chromium many years before I met Lila. So, I used to go to, you know, your friend, the legend in Sunset yeah. Park. Yeah, so so he went to, um, you know, uh, like some of the, the chiropractors that were, you know, famous in the field. Right? Yeah, yeah, guru. Yeah, very cool. So how old do we think, what's what's Zelda's story? How did he get her? How old is she? What she do we know is about our, She's our, uh, she's co a she's our co yeah, she's a chihuahua. She's our COVID rescue. Uh, she came from Tijuana, a excellent uh, adoption agency called Waggy Tails Rescue. Okay. Came in on a plane with like 50 chihuahuas. Uh, we met Zelda and we adopted her the same day. She mm -hmm. was pretty ratty. Uh, they thought she was five. Then Dr. Molly, our vet, said, no, she's eight. She's nine. She's yeah. unbelievably sweet. But she is a Tijuana street dog, mm -hmm. and she probably sustained herself on you know, like garbage. Garbage. Yeah. She rappers. was very skinny when we got her. She she couldn't get through the dog door in Montauk, and then when I picked her up, she did like an angry pain squeal. Mm -hmm. So we figured that we would bring her to see you at the same time as we brought in Eddie. And what's the? Did you when you rubbed your hand down? Did you find any tender spots? She was right sort of lumbar sacroiliac area okay and she had a hard time getting up the stairs immediately after sort of her right leg was collapsing a little oh. under her and then maybe a day or two later he picked her up and when she went into spine extension mm -hmm. she screamed again so i thought it would be a good idea just to have her checked and you see what she needs okay she, she has she, no fear of uh jumping off like a chair or a couch or anything like that has she been limping recently not really okay. no. it was just this episode just of like screaming thing. pain and then she was limping on the right okay but that was about a week ago last a week, week. Ago. Yeah. Uh, last question would be um does she when she eats her food, does she stand or does she collapse and just puts her face over the No, bone? she stands. Okay. She stands. She stands and dips in. She's unbelievable. When food she motivated. pees, however, she butterflies out. She frog legs. And that is that way. different? That's or she always, always the way she does. She that's okay. If that's her way, yeah, that's she her just way. spreads out like a bat. I'm mostly looking for change where you go, she can't even stand up for the full meal. She collapses or puppy sits. Maybe this is a preventative adjustment, you know? How are you? Nice to meet you, mucho gusto. Her energy is really good for like, She's you know, so an old sweet. bat. Too. She has such a cute face. Can I work with you today? Do you think it'd be all right if I work on you? Can I can I <laughs> yes, can I work please. with her? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna just start up top, really gentle. I'm feeling here at the the pole. That's what we call it on a horse, but little lenal occipital joint. 
And then I'm going to see if she lets me tilt her head up to the sky. Should it's we okay. get her leash off? Uh, no, it's okay. I don't think it's in the way yet. And then I bring her head all the way down, and let's bring it up one more time. A little hesitant there. But let's see. I think that Alice will tie. Now here, if you palpate, might I touch your neck? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you palpate like this, I feel it tighter right on the left side right there, on the arch of the atlas. I feel it. And it's a little tighter. The left side feels nice and the mushy. The left side gives. And I mean, the right side, side feels like softer. Yeah, the left side feels, I don't know, what, how like you boggy or doggy, yeah. but a little posterior maybe. And so that's the first thing it's I noticed okay, was yeah. kind of a left, a left posterior atlas. Yeah. And also it might have to be when I took her head up, she, at the very top, she was kind of she leaning. She rotated out of it. Yeah, she r r rotated out. There, she pulls mm -hmm. out to the right. So I want to see if I can change that. So usually I, I'll do a pull on the atlas because they have nice oh, big wings. So we pull it down. But I first want to, I'm going to do a pull with a little, so this might make her yelp a little bit, okay? Oh. Nope. Got it. Oh, oh cool. Good so girl. see if she licks, I mean, uh, shakes out a little bit. So let her shake move it around out without. A little. Yeah, try not to touch her, see That's if she wants to see. shake. Good, good girl. Amazing. Girl. So that's a good response. That's Very that cool. like good parasympathetic girl. response. Yeah. In this case, it was a little rotated back this mm -hmm. way, and then but it also was tilted up. Yeah. So I pulled down and did this at the same time. Wow. So I took out the posteriority and also tugged a little S to I at the same time. So I did S to I, a little P to A or P to vent. They call it ventral on dogs, mm -hmm. but uh, like that. And it made nice. it, and made the littlest. Made I mean, she's tiny. Yeah. She's not this big. This would be yeah. a pretty big dog. But you're in here, oh, yeah. and it feels a little more balanced. Yeah, I totally feel a difference. Yeah, it's really, uh, so, it, it's less stuck feeling. Yes, on the left. So that's all. Oh, nice. You know, good and it's job. a good start, right? Because yeah. we also don't want to traumatize that's her. That's an immediate difference. Yeah. Yeah. Where we like overdo it, and you go, "Whoops, sorry to no. hurt your ten-year-old dog." You know, it's not. <laughs> that's not the goal. So less is sometimes better. So I feel about the mid cervicals, like C3, C4. Again, this left side is worse. So I'm, I'm in here. I'm going to do mm -hmm. to you so you can follow me. So right about there. Which is also something Which is where, you, where yours is tough, too. <laughs> you today. feel that? Yeah. yeah. It's just a little, little tighter, a little more jammed up. Just get her a little. I feel it. Oh, you little subluxated lady. I might do a little light tap with this. Yeah. I pulled off the... Um, mm -hmm. Because this is, and I'm going to put it on a really nice. soft, soft space and really dial this out. I could come faster, but I don't think I need to. So I'm going to just kind of come off of the lamina of, C, of C3, C4, and just do a nice little impulse. And right there. It's That's, a, that oh, was that was spot. it. Good girl. It's better. She's, it. she's totally blinked. And, and may I do it to you so you see what I was doing? So it's just kind of... Yeah. And then I went down a little bit more. And, a little bit more. and I'm just showing you this because you could do a lot of this yourself too. Once you once we play a little bit, right? Okay. So now I'm in the withers, T3 through T8. And horses have withers, but we often refer to dogs having this wither area. Mm -hmm. And I'm so I'm like kind of in here. Between the scapula. Yeah. And they get a lot of stress there too because they're on fours. And then they have to hold that head up. Mm -hmm. Remember our head, when at least when we have good posture, sits on our trunk. Right. Their head hangs out over. Yeah. So gravity really pulls on their head and neck. And so I'm coming down now. And I'm just holding the spinuses. So I'm doing this now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, like we always do on humans, you know, we cup. And I'm looking to see which one doesn't belong. So I'm kind of doing that game where I'm coming down, seeing if something's right here. So come down yourself. And right here it gets stiff. A little more, one more. Yes. Right about there gets stiff. There. Yeah. You're so good at this. Well, Look I don't know. If I try my best. That's all I can say. But so that one I do want to adjust and really stabilize for me. Got it. Oh, pretty girl. That was so nice. Could you hear it play yes. too? So that's yes. not easy. Good, girl. good job. Very exciting. And you felt it first. Yes. You yes, felt I how that, that one was. Um, and so you were just we, doing we, a straight P to A. Yeah, on that one I did. With a little my elbow little was down a little bit because it's really not 90, so I my so elbow was at 60. So it's 
So it's a little P to A slight I to S. Yeah. So I instead of coming straight um, 90 degrees mm -hmm. with my line of drive, I dropped it a little I bit. I see that. Because you could see the, um, yeah, the facets are at 60. Got it. Interesting. And so um, I set up on it 90, then dropped down to 60, and then thrust. Yeah, the joint release. Got it. And we're talking about nice degrees. One. So the facet angle uh, is not 90 degrees. So if I, if I did it at 90, it would hurt the dog because I would be clunking it. And that's why sometimes people are like, oh, I'll just do it myself at home. It, no. You know, she's got training. She's been... And I still am bringing yeah. these dogs to the specialist. Um, but she, but, but, but really. all this language, she gets right away. Yeah. She's like, I know it. And you even asked me before we started, tell me about the facets and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because she, this is her language, you know. So if you don't uh, know the angles of every species that you work on, uh, then you might be clunking their bones together. Oh, you might hear a pop, but you also leave them really achy from it. And now I'm in the thoracolumbar junction, seven bones in the neck, 13 and seven. All mammals have seven in the neck except the manatee and the sloth. Um, even giraffes have seven in the neck, so it's kind of cool. Um, but now I'm down here, and this is the, they're hard to find on her little, her little butt. Because we fattened her up. <laughs> so this is the tuber sacralis, and these are the little bumps of the ilium. And they're very close together. I feel it. Yeah. So close. And that kind of gives us an idea where the sacrum is, right? Because yeah, it's going to be so right down. between it. Okay. But I'm going to take her into a little doggy arabesque. So I'm going to bring this leg back. And then I'm going to bring this one back. And we could also do a leg check on her. So sometimes, oh. and you see the, oh the left leg doesn't okay, want to come Zella. back. Zella. Okay. It could be for a million reasons. It could be pelvis. Do you see the yes. left leg? got a little pelvic tilt. Yeah, so she has a little pelvic tilt. So I'm going to actually, this is not a fun one for either. It's called an AS ilium, but mm -hmm. it's different on a quadruped. Is this I have okay? To pull, I have to pull it. Like this? Yeah, it actually right. is how they teach us to have someone hold the head like this. So I'm going to pull this up. So mm -hmm. I'm notching myself under here, under the... Um, you're, you're at the acetabular. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Above it. Yeah, and I'm pulling it. Ooh, I just broke that. Pop. So okay. it's, no, 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 it's it's here. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So here we'll... And a little lower, here, right here. Right there. Oh, it my. It gives me a little It's very look. specific, yes. It's very tiny. Yeah. But that'll help her hit. I didn't get it. One more. Now let's check it. Oh, little lady. You okay. got this, Zelda. It's okay. I want to check in the legs now. Good girl. She doesn't want to give me that. So I think that's also not just the pelvis, but her this whole hip is tight. I know you're worried about the right one, but, but I'm just doing the contracted one is the left. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on the psoas now. So this is the iliopsoas. I'm going to let this go a little bit. So you're just doing it like a trigger point contact? Yeah, because I think it's... There we go. Thanks, Zelda. She's giving it to me. She was okay with this. You can see her back leg shake. Mm -hmm. Cutie little tutti fruity. It's okay. Good girl, Zelda. I got you. Okay. Tenderoni. Yep. Let her walk around again on the table. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. I think that's all we should do with her yes. today. Because okay. I did a lot of good stuff. Yeah, it was great. But, um, Thank you so much. Myla? Yes. You we'll can, make a follow up. Okay, but I was going to say you could definitely massage that. Get that so yeah, open. Yeah, that so is open. And it's going to be where you think it is. Yeah. Because you can flex yeah. the leg and find it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to just find that like really big trigger point. At the same time, you can rub her glued out at the same time. So you could be underneath on the psoas. And then you can rub right your, posterior glute, yeah, the same side, yeah. the opposite glute. And just work around the hip. Okay. Do you think we can get Eddie up here? Yes, we can, you little old man-ski man. Come on. So how old is Eddie and how did he get Eddie? We think that oh my he God. Is, is, is he 13? <laughs> He's probably 13. He's 13 next year. Oh, he looks amazing. Um, and, oh boy. Uh, Let's get this. It's Lila's mom's dog. 
He <laughs> is charming, very spoiled. He acts like a brontosaurus. He's got a low back disc problem. Mm. Uh, his, his tail, he had a complete mm. tail drop two yeah, weeks ago. Um, now it's moving better. The vet put him on some anti-inflammatories, like one a day chewable, which within a few days has gotten him moving. Mm -hmm. But um, we're worried because he has a little bit of a leg drag when he walks and a few times his legs have collapsed from under him and this is a lot of dog to have yeah. my mother lift and handle yeah and it's also a lot of gravity because yeah. they're long bodied so the long body dogs like the basset hound and the dachshunds will often get rear leg lameness yeah or rear end lameness or paralysis even he has he ever had it came came up lame after running or jumping off a couch or yeah anything? he has a yeah. little leg a leg yeah. drag like he needs to get adjusted look how the tail's deviated to the right Interesting. so that's so it and i don't just mean that where he's hooking it i mean but the, the actual sacral apex so the 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 sacrum ends here mm -hmm. and then the tail the first coccygeal segments and so just this part alone because he might just choose to have his tail go that way but i'm talking about right up in this section yes is to the right So he has what's called sacral apex right. Okay. And I'm gonna adjust that, but can I, hey Eddie, can I work with you today? Here, look at his face, see if he says yes. Can we do it, Eddie, can little I, bit? Can I do a little work on you? Usually I start on the head, but I'm gonna start on his tail today. Good boy. All right, so I'm gonna um, reach under, and I'm gonna go straight lateral to medial, and I'm gonna be right on the, no, I'm gonna switch hands. This will help him too. And now I'm gonna do a, a traction pull on his tail. So I'm pushing forward on his- So you're uh, anchoring right. Yeah. And then you're tractioning then I'm, out. I'm grabbing as high as I can. And I'm not gonna yank it. He's I'm really just, tolerant of this, I'm surprised. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. So it's already more straight. Look at that. So it was before the top part. I'm not worried about the curve of the tail because that could be part of his just like social personality, like how he, yeah. like he's flared to the right. But I'm talking about this section here. Yeah. So I got it better. Let me bring it this way too. Okay. And that's important because that's the bottom of the sacrum. I'm surprised he's not fighting this. So here's the, he has big tuber sacralis. So here's the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel it. Yeah, and, got you. And here's another one right oh, there. Oh, here you are, little man. But so he's tender in that area. I'm sorry. So he's got really tenderness of the lower lumbars. He might even have a little sciatica. Oh. Oh no. Put my Does hand. Show up? Well, he's got well, a little left leg it, drag yeah. once in a while. And that's straight P to A at that yeah, point. Yeah, that's straight P to A. So, there's no so because he's lying down, I have to adjust my angle to still keep create a 90 degree on that one. Yeah. And then, so if this is the uh, tuber sacralis. Mm -hmm. Got it, yep. So that's going to be L7. Ah. And we're going to come up 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and look, there's the ribs. So we're at T12 already. I mean, not T13, excuse me. I'm thinking humans. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to come to the lumbosacral joint, I mean, the thoracolumbar joint. So I'm now I'm going to go up higher. I'm at T13 because T13 feels worse on him than L1. So I'm going to hit T13 also. And now um, this is starting to go a little bit. So I'll probably drop down to about 80 degrees. Oh, good boy, Eddie. And I'm coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm at T. One, two, three, four. I'm T four. Okay. Okay. So now 
he's got big old wings. Yes, he does. So you can feel these. And the best way to feel them is to find the gap between the occiput mm -hmm. and come down with two fingers like this. And then there's the wing next. Yes. Like you pull down into the wings. So now I'm going to look for spacing. So I have tons of space on the right side mm -hmm. between the wing of the atlas and the mando, the edge of the mm -hmm. skull, mm -hmm. the occiput and the, and the mm -hmm. uh, angle of the, the ramus of the mandible. But on the left side, it's n no gap at all. So the left side is very narrow. It, when you point it out, it's so clear. And then the right side, you could put your whole thumb in there. Yes. You can almost put two fingers on yes, that side. Yes, you put my whole thumb in here. And it, you so, can't even get a piece So I'm going to cross over to your side. Okay. And I'm going to have to pull across and down. And we're going to see if we can adjust that. So I'm going to hold this head. I'm going to laterally flex a little bit. Oh, baby. He's licking already. One more. Let's do one more. Got it. Oh, oh my goodness, boy. that's great. Okay, sorry, babe. He's being really but, compliant. But now check yeah. the gaps. They're even. We're almost even. You can't believe us, Eddie. You might have to straighten his head to tell. Eddie, no way. It's not over. That's definitely better. It's definitely better. Yeah. So, you know, and he's an older dog. That. He's 13. Yeah, he's a little old bag of bones. Yeah, so we can't just, like, turn him into, you know, we can't yeah. crush his spine to get the result. But we're... we're we're doing what we can. Now I'm going to back it up with a little activator. In any particular angle that I can. Well, I'm going to continue what I was just doing, which is pulling that atlas back down. So I'm on the edge of the atlas. You can see where my finger is. Uh -huh. take, take your finger and replace it. Yeah. So I'm on that edge. Got it. And I'm going to just tap You're just it. on the superior edge. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, baby. That's an atlas adjustment. Wonderful. So now we'll see if the, how the gap is. They're, they feel, it almost feels this one's more narrow now, mm -hmm. but they're equal. So that's a good Excellent. job. Now let's check his uh, superior atlas and inferior atlas, because it can tilt down or tilt up. He doesn't like going down, so look how, hey, how are you, look at you. And then when you turn him down, he doesn't want to pull down, you try it. So he'll take his head all the way to the ceiling and then pull it down. It gets That's really also how he snuggles. He yeah. snuggles up. He gets really rigid. Yeah, you tight. So there's another adjustment you could do, which is we, um, we're we going to, it's called a, he has a superior atlas, so we're going to push it back inferior. And the way you do that, and you're going to help me a little bit, is we get on the wing of the atlas mm -hmm. and we, um, help it down so we flip it down okay if it's if it's stuck down then we flip it up so his head can rise up but his actually doesn't want to go down so i have to turn it this way so you're going to hold this down like this yeah. so i have um create resistance and i'm going to just go flip mm -hmm. it's you won't hear a pop on this but oh well, we, a good we did hear a little, pop. a little pop you sweetheart so now we're going to check that he still has superior Extension. I mean, or he has great extension, baby. Can I pull your head down now? And it comes all oh the way down. Oh my goodness! Oh, what a difference! All the way up you. and all the way down. You yeah. try it. Oh my God, this is such a wild thing. You really got it. Hi, little down face cutie tootie. We got it. So I think good that's job. enough. That's today. so good. So let's put him on the oh, ground. See if he shakes out. So before you pet him, give him a moment to himself. Who's my fatsy boy? Mm -hmm. And do you notice he let me work on him? Yeah, he was into it. He needed well, it. Really yeah, there's the shape. Yeah. Oh. Do you think you can adjust my neck? I can. Oh. Look at this neck. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I haven't been adjusting like How long? a month. A little extension oh. for a second, if you don't mind. That's so good. Thank you. It's a lifetime of working head down. Rest for a second. Rest. Are we wiggling toes? Woo! You got it. That was so good. Take a breath. <sighs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. You really locked on your left. Yeah. You, I mean, that well, that's a, too just glided That was in. my bad side. Even my shoulder and my arm on this side are... I have some front <laughs> left lameness on my left. Left lameness. We just got to really rotate. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Just wait a second. More, more, more. Wiggle this. Oh, you got it. Hello, Atlas. How how deep is this? Would you like an anterior? Yeah, an anterior you can. Yeah, Slide definitely. A little lower. A little bit. Do it the same way. Yeah. 
I just lay there for a second. Oh, oh wow, that was so good. One more. Oh, oh wow. I'm gonna just open out into a nice little cactus. Just let your shoulders open, take a breath. You didn't need it that time. I sorry, that was so good. Thank yeah. you oh, so much. I'm so grateful. Yeah, you're better. That, that was oh. a good one. I needed that. I needed that. All right, this is what the husband says now. You guys should swap adjustments. Yes, I if think you're so. not getting him regularly. She's amazing. And she's not getting him regularly. Oh, I didn't know. <gasps> Woo! Wow! That was awesome. so good. That okay. was very that smooth. Huge, too. I do the anteriors the same way, except that a righty, so you Everyone the folds the yeah. arms differently. Oh, nice. You got it? Oh. Amazing. Wow. That's so cool. Do you need your lumbar stud or leave them? Can you if, you want, if you're up for that. Yeah, turn towards me. Because these, your toes don't do? <laughs> these, are they these lumbars don't, don't do the, they don't, no one can get me. Okay. I don't mean to psych you out. I'm just like, it's some sort of situation. Oh. I can't get him. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Yeah, Unless I do hours of yoga. So, Give me another. Okay. I think I'm up. I wish I, I could put the table lower. You know what? I lower. think I'm up. It's too high of a table for lumbar. Yeah. So that's why I didn't do you. Yeah. I have a P to A on the right and an I to S ischial tube on the left. Whatever mm -hmm. that means to you. It does. Yeah. Nah. Oh, but that felt good, though. Okay. I feel a little release. Here, put your angles out oh. this way. Thank you so much. Oh, towels. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that dog. Oh. Got them both. Outstanding. That's amazing. Thank you. All right. That's what so a cool. great you. chiropractor you are. All right. I love and appreciate you. I love and appreciate you. I'm going to a reality show in a second. Um, I think you guys are good on camera. I think things. so. I love it. Um, Thank you. So is this fun though? This is great. We're going to follow up with Eddie because he's a geezer okay. and he's going to need it. Yeah. All right. And then we'll see Everybody how Zelda does. does. Okay. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Super fun. Nice to meet you. Too. Bye. Bye. Pop you, sweetheart. So now we're going to check that he still has superior extension. I mean, or he has great extension. Baby, can I pull your head down now? And it comes all oh the way down. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a difference. All the way up. You. 